Can you see the title of my sermon today? Can we read it together? All together with loud voice. Ready, say, go. Our God is number one. Yes. According to the statistics about 2016 religion in America, Christian rate is 70.6%, including Protestant, Catholic, Mormon, and other small denominations. Non-Christian faith rate is 5.9%, which is Jewish, Muslim, Buddhist, and Hindu. 22.8% says that they do not have any religion. It is still pretty high rate to see Christian in U.S. However, from 2007 to 2016, Christian rate have been falling down from 78.4% to 70.6%. Mainline Protestant Christian population have declined from 41 million to 36 million. As we can see, many people are leaving churches and our young generations do not feel the need to go to church. Although more than 70% of people in the U.S. identify themselves as Christian, there are so many terrible things that are going on in this country which are against Christian faith. If you turn on TV, it is not hard to watch that so many bad things are happening every day, such as murder, domestic violence, exploitation, stealing, and so on. Let alone violent crimes, people judge others, hurt, discriminate, and hate others around us. Then we need to ask why these things are happening in the U.S., where over 70% of people say that they are Christian. Today's scripture shows that this is not only problems in today's society. The society where Jesus lived also were undergoing the same problem. We can see two people who came to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee and another was a tax collector. There is an obvious contrast between these two guys regarding their ways of believing in God. Why the Pharisee represent the religious person, the tax collector represent sinner. Not only the tax collector identifies himself as sinner, but also any other people, including the Pharisee, recognize him as sinner. The Pharisees prayed three times a day and followed all the laws in the Bible. As you notice in the today's scripture, the Pharisee gave tithe to the Lord regularly, and he often did fast. He said that he is not like everyone else. He identified himself as a special man who does something that is pleasing God. However, God never praised this man. Rather, God considered a tax collector righteous man. The Pharisee who identified himself as holy man who keep all the laws in the Bible was not recognized as righteous man by God. Why God did not praise the Pharisee? Why people who identified themselves as Christian in the U.S. are involved in crimes or hurt others verbally or physically? I believe that there is a common thing between the Pharisee in the scripture today and 70% of people in U.S. who identify themselves as Christian. Both of them may know God with their knowledge, but they do not believe in God or their faith is disconnected with their lives. Then how can we help those people who know God but do not live their lives as children of God to live different life? How can we as Christians live our lives not like Pharisees but as true citizens of the kingdom of heaven? I hope today we can have a chance to think about answers about this question. When God created heaven and earth, God created human beings according to God's 
own image. For our great God, human beings are more precious and valuable than any other creatures. How God think about human beings? Let me share a story that I read on Facebook last week. A high school teacher brought a $100 bill to the classroom. She asked a student, anyone want to take this bill? Guess what? All the students in the classroom raised up their hands because all of them want to have the $100 bill. The teacher asked students to put their hands down and fold the bill in half. And she asked again, who want to take this bill? Just half. But still, all of the students raised their hand. This time, the teacher crumpled the $100 bill and asked the same question. No one put their hands down. The teacher threw the bill on the ground and trampled it by her foot. Now, the $100 bill looks nasty with footprint and looks like garbage. Still, all of the students want to take the bill. She said that. You have learned a very important thing today. Whether the money was trampled or straight, the value of money is never changed. As you want this $100 bill, whether it is clean or dirty, I want you to remember that your value is never changed. After you graduate this school, whether you get a job or go to college, you will be experiencing a lot of hard times. You might feel that your life is trampled or crumbled, thinking that you are worthless. No matter what will happen to your life, I want to say that you are precious. You are valuable, like you think about this $100 bill today. As this high school teacher said, as children of God, our value has never been changed. And it won't be change it. In the eyes of the Lord, each of us come always number one. God puts us first no matter what and gives us the best thing that we need in our lives. As to this Old Testament Psalm 65 says, God who made us, who chose us, provides all our needs and surrounds us with his strong arms. Our life is not easy. There are so many things happening that overwhelm us. In every moment, I want you to remember that God is always with you, and you are the number one for the Lord. For our great God, all of us are number one. There is none favored. No one is left behind. God loves us no matter what, whether we are rich or poor, sick or healthy, young or old. None of the things that matter to God. As we are number one children to the Lord, God gives unlimited love toward us, sending his only son, Jesus Christ, letting die on the cross for the sake of our sins. Then I want to ask you, do you put God as number one in your life? Do people in the U.S. who identify themselves as Christian put our great God as their number one? As I said, over 70% of U.S. population identify themselves as Christian, but their life never shows Jesus toward each other. If they put God as number one, their life should be different. If they put God as number one, they should have eye of God who see others same as themselves. We should avoid to be a Pharisee in today's scripture who judge others with his own standard. He thought that he is doing great job by fasting and giving tithe. However, God was so sad to look at him. He did not accept the sinners, nor pray for them. He rather buzzed himself through prayer. It is obvious that God does not want to hear this kind of prayer. 
There are so many Pharisees in this world who pray to the Lord to show off themselves. Many Christians put money, reputation, authority as the number one priority in their life. God does not come even second or third. God is far behind in their lives. Many people say that they believe in God, but their life shows they do not love God, let alone others. Whenever I read newspaper or watch news program on TV, I felt heartbreaking. There are so many people in this world who hate each other. Why couldn't we hear beautiful stories more than crimes? Because people are losing God. People leave God behind of them. Our great God, who should be number one in our lives, is now somewhere else where we hardly find. We should bring him back to our lives. We should put him back to the number one in our heart. If God is our number one, we can love others more than now. If God is our number one, we can stop hurting others. If God is our number one, we can share pains and sufferings with others. If God is our number one, we can hold the hands of those who need consolation. Therefore, let's put God as our number one. Let's live the life that God wants us to live so we can bring peace and love to the world again. There is no other God but only one true God who is love, who is great. Therefore, we need to live for our Lord. I love the song title, There is None Like You. Lyrics are like this. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I could search for all eternity long and find there is none like you. I want to sing this song with you today. You can see the lyrics, uh, in the insert in your bulletin. Please take it out and... And let's sing together and think about the lyrics. There is none like our great God. Let's sing together. There is none. greater than our God. There is no one who loves us more than God does. Therefore, let's put our God as number one. Let's love the Lord with our whole heart and let's, let's love others without judging so we can build beautiful community of God. Let us pray. O oh Lord, our number one God, there is no one like you. You are great God who love us no matter what. For you, we are always number one. You gave your one and only son to forgive all our sins. Oh Lord, we want to put you first. We want to follow you no matter what. We want to love one another. We want to bring peace to this world. Thank you for your great love. As your love has no limit, let us love all 
and let this word fill with your grace. In Jesus' name we pray.